Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Legit Rabbi, and I'm bringing you episode 4 of Play the Objective series on COD Ops. What's up? Um, we're doing Capture the Flag this week, and um, I want to thank you guys last time for posting all the comments. Once again, let me know what you want to see after this, and um, I'll do it. So thanks for letting me know you want to see Capture the Flag. I'm here to bring it to you, and, um, you know, I kind of took a few weeks off from this series to kind of see what I wanted to do with it, because I was a little confused, and I kind of thought, play the objective, da -da -da. that's very obvious, and I don't want it to be obvious, I want it to be a good series, but I realized that's the thing, that's the key, it needs to be obvious, because, I mean, we're all pretty good players, but we don't always play that way, I consider myself a pretty good player, but I'm only like a 1.5 2KD player. Why? Because I don't always use all these tactics and strategies and pretend video games really matter and it's real life and we're all gonna die and blah blah blah. So I don't really play it that way. But when I take a second to sit back and really think about what I'm doing, it helps. So that's what I'm kind of trying to show you guys. Um, I'm not showing you flanking routes. This is not the doctor's orders. Um, this is like rabbi's orders. Like, you come to my house, I give you Shabbat dinner, fucking poison you with the matzo balls and brisket, and then you go to doctor and he'll flank you up. So, uh, we're doing some capture the flag on firing range. Right at the beginning, you see me take a uh, position up in this house, and, uh, that's a really good vantage point. Obviously, you know, if you're there for a long time, you're gonna get killed, but whether you're playing offense or defense, you have a lot of cover up there. Uh, just be aware of grenades, but other than that, um, you see I defended the flag there at the very beginning, so it's really good to watch both, you know, the front of the firing range and the back bunker as people come around, and I don't play game battles, so I don't know the rules or anything, or the, uh, sorry, the call out, so that's why I don't know what I'm talking about, but the, the back of the bunker and the firing range is really good. Now you see here in a second, um, my kill streaks are Spy Plane, Blackbird, and Two Bucks, so I first get my Spy Plane, I already called that in. I'm on my way to my Blackbird, and I think I get it here in a second. Now, you can see here I'm doing a really nice job of just clearing them out, and, um, you know, the flag is pretty much open. As you can see on my mini-map, they're all the way across the map, so I, I have a perfect opportunity to get the flag, but there's a reason that I don't, and the reason is just because I want to get my dogs, as simple as that. Now, that doesn't mean I'm a kill whore or anything, but I want to get my dogs. I know it will benefit me a lot better if I can be able to get my dogs, call them in once they're out with, uh, you know, my skill and my team skill over the other team, we're going to be able to dominate and get the other two flag caps really quickly. And that's another thing. When you play Capture the Flag, this game was by myself. And usually, what I like to do by myself um, is kind of find how the other team plays. And really, I can't, you know, if another team's better, there's not much I can do. But there is things I can do um, to help that. And that is, usually I play defensive to see their strategy at first and see what kind of tactics I can use to uh, play better than them. And you saw a second ago, if you want to rewind it, I get the flag, and then I, I immediately rush there. And uh, I did a pretty good thing. I was actually pretty proud of myself for once. Uh, I did a smart move that I'm going to talk about, in that I didn't get the flag and just rush. I didn't just say, there's a flag, there's a spawn point, let's go. I pretty much got the flag, and uh, I picked up the 74U with, I think it was rapid fire, and I was just ready to go. I had some map awareness. Unfortunately, that guy, like, you know, uh, everyone and their mother spawned inside that bunker, so there wasn't much I could do. But I was able to, I think, clear out two guys there, and uh, I had map awareness. A lot of people are very, like, you know, not confident about their gun, st gun skill, including myself. But if you just take that extra second to actually realize, hey, there's a guy there, I'm going to kill him, um, it's going to pay off in the long run. Because I know a lot of people just get the flag, and the entire team will be on their ass, and they're just going to be like, no, ultimate track star, healthy eater, drinking milk, Jesse Owens, elite, 200 meter sprint, runner set, insert baton in your ass for sexual pleasure, exercise, muscle, muscle confusion, stamina, training, try hard. And it doesn't work that way, so make sure when you get the flag to just have map awareness and realize uh, the route you're taking and the best way for you to score. So some uh, generic tips real quick for capture the flag. Uh, once again, obvious tip. Um, it, everything is easier with friends. Communications, friends, teammates are always going to help you. I was playing alone. I didn't. I don't remember if I had my mic in. So, but usually when I'm playing with randoms, communication doesn't work too well. Um, so everything's easier with friends, but this is one of the game types where even if you have one friend, um, it's going to be a lot easier. In a game like Search and Destroy or Domination, obviously six friends are better than one friend, 
but um, if you have one friend, usually in game types like that, it's not going to do as much as in games like Sabotage, which uh, I'll get to next video, um, or I guess whatever you want to see, sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, like Capture the Flag, even if you have one friend, um, I did have a video, unfortunately it got deleted, but it was with my friend uh, Vestman, and I was playing defense, and he was playing offense, and he would get the flag, and uh, I would kind of survey the map and tell him which route to run, and then we would cover each other and take turns doing that, and it works really well because you're able to watch each other's back, and even with two people, the communication just works that much better, and you're uh, able to get the flag caps that you need to get. So that's, uh, that's pretty much Capture the Flag in a nutshell, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I actually, before I talk about something else, I want to give a tip on my Blackbird. The reason you see me kind of stack these up, and by the end of the game, I think I have two in my pocket that I don't even use, um, and I got kind of cocky, but the reason I do that is because I have Spy Plane on, so what I like to do is, since Blackbird counts toward your kill streak, or, you know what I mean, it does count toward your kill streak, so, um, I usually wait till I die, call in my Spy Plane, then once my Spy Plane disappears, call on my blackbird, so I get that much more of a head start on my dogs. So, um, unfortunately, we don't have time for some random topic today. I thought we were going to. Uh, I want to talk about a funny TV show, which I'll save for next time, but, um, if you enjoyed it, you can come over to my channel, talk about some TV shows or whatever, Shalom in the Home, <laughs> or whatever, and, uh, more gameplay commentaries, as usual. Uh, the ending was kind of funny because I just kind of wanted my dogs to do some work, so I got the flag and kind of trolled my teammates and hid in the back until they knifed me to death. And, um, yeah, but we win the game. That's pretty much how you want to play Capture the Flag. Once again, um, if you're playing by yourself or if you're a strong player, figure out how the other team plays and then adapt your play style to that. Um, communication and teamwork is key. Run kill streaks that you think are appropriate. I was playing kind of more defensive, as you can see, so I was using an assault rifle, um, and run the higher kill streaks. But if I had been using uh, like a Russian class, of course, make sure that you're using spy plane. Counter spy plane's great too. Napalm to uh, cover the flag. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please rate the video and um, yeah, come check out my channel if you want to see more. I'm legit rabbi, and I'll see you guys later. Appreciate it. Well done.